I'm 40. How did that happen? Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury on a budget, so if you're into that sort of thing, be sure to subscribe. Click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Today I am very excited to finally share my 40th birthday with you guys. As I was thinking about what kind of video to do for this, I thought about doing something like I did when I reached 10,000 subscribers and having a big extravaganza with balloons and the popper again. But my thinking behind that is that reaching the 10,000 subscribers was the result of a a lot of work. It was an accomplishment. It's something that not everyone does. A lot of people do it, but not everyone does. And it was a really big deal for me. It was an accomplishment for me. To me, reaching 40 is not so much of an accomplishment. It just means that I managed to stay alive for 40 years. Now, for some people, it definitely is an accomplishment. Fortunately for me, I have not faced any serious illnesses. Reaching 40 is a big deal to a lot of people, and it's a big deal to me, but it's not the same kind of accomplishment as reaching the 10,000 subscribers. So it just didn't seem to equate to me to have that big extravaganza. I thought then that I would do a birthday haul for you and show you all the gifts that I received from other people and I purchased several things for myself. I do have some special guests. I tried to get Vincent to come, but she opted out. She felt like she did not want to participate in this video and I wasn't going to force her. I do have two other special guests to share that I think most of you will be very happy to see. Special guest number one, Roxy. Say hi to everyone, Roxy. Hi, everyone. She's so cute. She has a beautiful new party dress to celebrate the occasion, and it's sort of Chanel-esque with the tweed and the pearls. And in her party dress, she has been on the floor attacking her brother, which is one of her favorite things to do. I told her that this party dress is also her Halloween costume, so that for Halloween she can be a lady and not a floof monster, which is what she is every day. Bye Roxy! If you saw my 10,000 subscriber extravaganza, you may remember Baron's tuxedo fiasco. I didn't want to put him through that again, so I got him a much more comfortable outfit, a hoodie, a little black hoodie this time. And it's going to be hard to see, but it says partner in crime because he is a criminal and he steals food whenever he can. Isn't that right, Baron? Look ashamed, Baron. Look ashamed. He's good at that. Bye, Bear. I also have a nice little glass of champagne to sip while I'm filming and sharing all these lovely things with you. And I have been talking for months about my birthday bag. And I do have a birthday bag to show you. It is Chanel, and that will be somewhere in this video. I also have a story behind it because it's not the bag that I had in mind, but it does have a lot of similarities to that bag, and I'll tell you about why I ended up with this one and not that one. All right, first I wanna start with gifts that I received from other people, and I'll start with family. I'll start with my mother. My mother gave me the biggest and most lovely gift by far. No offense to anyone else, of course. She started a tradition when I turned 30 and then my sister turned 30 where she would take us on trips for our big, you know, decade birthdays. So for this big decade birthday, we went to the Florida Keys. We flew into Miami, we drove down to Key West, we drove back and came back home. The boyfriend took me to a nice dinner. He got me this lovely box of Godiva assorted milk chocolates. And on the trip, I also got a few cards from home. This one, I think is from him. Yep, this one is from him. I'll show you the front, but not the inscription inside. So meeting a dog, getting to bed by 10, no upcharge for guac, finding $5 on the ground, D-list celebrity sightings, getting this card, and your birthday. Things worth celebrating. Got this card that says mom, because you can't drink cake. Happy birthday mom from your feathered kiddo, Vincent. The animals always get me cards. It's very sweet of them. And I got another card addressed to mom with the dachshund and the floofy dog circled. It says happy birthday. And happy birthday, mom, with love, tail wags, and kisses, I think, your furry friends, Baron and Roxy. I also received two gifts from subscribers in my P.O. box. There's this one that's wrapped so nicely, and it has a little card addressed to me. 
I'm not going to read the cards because at least one of them, I think both of them said some kind of personal things. I don't know if they want them shared. I guess I can still show the front of them because they were cute. So wishing you a joyful day. Very pretty. This all looks handmade. It's very nice. And then in here, I've actually already unwrapped all these. I know what everything is. And then I wrapped it all back up so it'd be pretty for you guys. These are adorable. Some little dachshund socks. I especially love these blue ones because I could wear those all the time and it's a little French wiener dog. And then the Irish wiener dogs for St. Patrick's Day. It's adorable. It's so cute. And those are from Marcy. Thank you so much, Marcy. And then the other gift is in here with a card again. Also a very cute card. And this is from Cinderella. Pretty paper. And inside the tissue paper, I love this, is the scarf that's a dachshund. When you wear it or you tie it around your bag, wearing it like a twilly, it's a whole dachshund body with the, the head over there and the feet over there. And it looks like my Sebastian. That is so, so cute. And I will definitely be wearing that on my bags. Adorable. All right, I have one more gift from one of you, a subscriber and another YouTuber. This is from Yota of Yota Style. If you can see the logo there, it's from Tori Birch. Okay, here we go. This is, there's a little string on it, hold on. This is an evil eye necklace from Tori Birch, and there's a story behind this. You may remember if you watch my channel, Yota and Jill Maurer and Bobster92 and I were all involved in a little fake feud, and we were joking around with each other on YouTube through videos and through the comment sections of our videos, and Yota mentioned at one point the evil eye jewelry, which is part of her Greek heritage, and that I needed some evil eye jewelry to protect me from some of the other people that we were fake feuding with. So this is kind of a gag gift, but also a very, very nice gag gift. And I think it's beautiful and lovely. And these are real pearls too, by the way. They are quite large and much more beautiful in person than they're coming across on the screen because I'm sure they're being all washed out on the screen. And then the evil eyes are made of glass. It's really beautiful. Thank you, Yota. And it's funny. The four of us, we are all hilarious. It's not even my opinion. It's just a fact. I'm going to start with the things that I purchased for myself in Florida. I'll start with this. This one isn't actually for me. We came across a candy shop and they had these bones that are at this point partially eaten, but these are for the dogs. So I picked those up for them so they could celebrate too. I always try to bring gifts back for them. I got some key lime taffy from the Blonde Giraffe in Tavernier. This was just south of Key Largo. They have incredible key lime pie. So if you're ever down there, stop there for some key lime pie. It's fabulous. This is also very good. I got one little piece of jewelry down in Key West at a gift shop on the main drag there. This little silver charm that says mile zero Key West. I like to get a little charm for my charm bracelet anytime that I go somewhere or there's some kind of milestones. So that's my charm to remember my 40th birthday and my 40th birthday trip. Kind of touristy, but it does the trick. We also found this Mayan shop. Everything in the store was made by Mayan people and it was fair trade and everything was very reasonably priced. So I picked up several things. You guys don't know this about me, but I love this style of artwork. I love things like Frida Kahlo's work. I love these Mayan pieces. I love Oaxacan art, especially the wood carvings that are painted, some of the jewelry. And we have shops like that in Houston that have Mexican pieces that are similar to this. But this was pretty much the only place I found in all of the keys that I was like, this is stuff that I want to take home with me. This is worth the space in my suitcase and all that. Got a couple of small things. I got these three scrunchies, this blue and purple this multicolored and this multicolored in autumn colors. Just thought those were cute and I wear scrunchies every day, so that works. And if you know anything about Key West, you know that there are like wild chickens running around everywhere. And I thought it was pretty touristy to get some kind of chicken item, but I thought this one would be okay because it was in this Mayan shop and I thought it was a little less touristy. And that is this little wooden chicken statue and I think it's so so cute 
Everything that I am talking about is so, so cute, isn't it? I love the colors on it. I love everything about it. That's why I bought it. I love funky little folk artsy kind of stuff like this. And since I got a bird, I also had to get a dog. This is a mask. I wanted some masks for a long time and this is my first. So maybe this will be the first in a collection, but let me spin this around for you. It's a little more obvious from this angle that it's a dog. They had a few in different colors and this was my favorite. And then on the back, it just looks like that. But this is wall art. So this will hang somewhere in my office here or in my closet. I was thinking maybe in my closet next to Sebastian's painting that I have in there. I picked up one handbag in Key West, but it's probably not anything like what you might be expecting. It is this. I have been wanting one of these cloth crossbody bags for a while now. I used to have one that was pink with elephants that I got in New Orleans, and I don't know what happened to that thing, but it has disappeared. So I've been looking for another one, and this fit the bill. I really like the sort of mustard color. It's got this big pocket on the outside. I like the pattern. I like that it's sort of neutral, can go with a lot of different outfits, and it's also reversible. So if you turn it inside out, it has this elephant pattern on it. I don't think I'll ever wear it that way. The mustard side is really my favorite and it also has a pocket inside. But that really came in handy that last day and it's a nice lightweight bag. And you know, you wanna have some bags like this in your collection even if you really prefer luxury because you don't wanna take luxury everywhere you go. There are gonna be times when that's not something you wanna carry and that is why I wanted to have something like this. While we were in Key West, we got to go to the Key West Rum Distillery. I got to taste all the different rums they had and I brought back two, one for myself and one for the boyfriend. And this is the one that I brought for myself, glazed pineapple flavor. So it definitely tastes like rum, but it has this undertone of glazed pineapple, which is pretty delicious and it pairs really well with the rum. And I thought this would be great for some fruity mixed drinks, some tropical fruit fruity mixed drinks. And then for the boyfriend who likes coffee, I do not. I thought this would be perfect. The Cuban coffee flavored rum. So with this rum, they put Cuban coffee beans in the barrels and they let that age. I don't remember how long. I did taste this, tastes like coffee. The boyfriend says he loved it. They do not ship, they're not allowed to ship, so you have to go to Key West to get any of these. That's everything I got in Florida, but that's not the end of the video, there is more. Along the lines of alcohol, I got this for myself. I saw these a few years ago, the Vuv. I looked a few hours ago on how to pronounce that, I think it's Vuv, and it means widow, it's the widow Clico that was an actual person. And I saw these a few years ago with the ice sleeve, I think they call it, ice jacket. And I wanted to get one but didn't and then I could never find it again and I regretted not getting it. And I saw it yesterday at Costco of all places. The Vove Clico is usually 60 something a bottle most places here in Houston, but they had it with the jacket for only 50. So I snagged it. And of course the jacket is removable and it has very delicious champagne inside that I will be enjoying soon. I also got some jewelry for myself. These are from two different sellers on Etsy, but I got them to be a set. And I'll link them below in case you're interested in getting them. The first comes in this little box with a raven. It's from a shop called Raven's Telltale Boutique. And you'll see the influence of something that I showed you earlier. These are silver heart earrings with little daggers going through them. And I got them to pair with this item. This card tells you all about Milagros, which is what this piece is made of. Okay, here we go. It is a sacred heart necklace with all these little heart milagros. And I thought that would pair well with these earrings. I think they go perfectly together. Just two more things until we get to the luxury goods that you're waiting for. I hope you're enjoying this so far. I think it can be kind of boring to just see luxury stuff all the time in these haul videos. I think it's interesting to see what other things people are interested in. And here's one that most of us are interested in. I love the Beatles like the rest of the world. And I have several of their albums and I used to have more, but my car was broken into a few years ago in the last place that we lived in the garage of the apartment building there and several of my Beatles albums were stolen in that break-in so I decided to replace them and get all of the other albums that I wanted to get. So I don't have the entire collection of Beatles albums but I've got most of them now so let me show you what I got here. 
The White Album is one that I had to replace that was stolen. <sighs> Such a pain because that's the most expensive one. With the Beatles, Revolver, Yellow Submarine, Help, Please Please Me, A Hard Day's Night, and of course, Sgt. Pepper. I know I already have Abbey Road and a few others, but this, this makes me very, 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 very happy. I'm very much looking forward to diving into them. All right, one more thing. So you remember I told you that the birthday bag I'd been talking to you about, that I never told you what it was, that I didn't get it, I got something else. This is one of the reasons I was not able to get it at this time. I still plan to get that bag eventually, and I'll tell you what it is in a minute, but <clears throat> but this is one of the things that prevented me from getting it in time for my birthday. I got myself a new camera for my birthday. Wasn't planning on that, but the old camera that I was using broke. I told you guys about that in a previous video. So when that broke, I purchased this one. It is the latest DSLR in the series from Canon, the 90D. I purchased the set that's just the camera body, not the lens, because I already have plenty of lenses, didn't need this, I already had the one that this came with, so no need to get two of those. And just the body of this, so just the camera body, no lens, was about half the cost of the bag that I wanted to get, so there went that handbag money. But I did need to get this, I was due for a new one, and so far I'm loving it. I hope that the quality looks good to you guys too. As far as I can tell, it does. All right, now let's get to the handbags. First luxury purchase is in this bag from The Real Real, And I think some of you could already tell what it was when I just pulled it up. It is another Longchamp Le Pliage. This is the large size. I already have one in black. I did a video on it not too long ago. I can link that below. But I wanted a lighter color and this light gray came up on the real rail and I thought, well, that's really pretty and that would go with my wardrobe, my capsule wardrobe. So got that and I used this and the black one in Florida and they came in handy so much and I carried them on the boats, and I can tell you all about it in another video of where I, I should probably do one about traveling with these because they are like the perfect travel bag. And there's actually something else in this dust bag to show you. They came packaged in the same dust bag, which I thought was a little strange. Usually you get a different dust bag for each item, but that is this little guy, this little coin purse cosmetic thing, also from Longchamp in this sort of military green khaki color and you just open that up and it's got this dark black on the inside. I'll need to do a video on this too. I haven't used this piece yet. I don't really have anything specific in mind for how to use it, but it was like $30 on the real reel and usually they're about 50 retail and it's in great shape. So I thought I'd give it a try. I've been curious about them. You can never have too many little SLGs, right? Or can you? I don't think so. Okay, now for the birthday bag you've been waiting for. This is it. It is lovely. Here we go. Are you ready? You get the handles, pull it out nice and pretty. Look familiar? Have we maybe seen something like this before? Ooh. I unboxed this bag for my 10,000 subscriber extravaganza. And right before my birthday, I saw this bag on the real reel. Actually, I'd seen it before my birthday, but they had it at, I think it was around $1,300. I wasn't really wanting to pay that much for it because I got the bronze one for 700 something. Crazy, crazy deal from Fashion File. And then right before my birthday, they had a big sale and they put this on sale, marked it down from 1300 ish to 900 something. So I jumped on it and it is very similar in a lot of ways. It has a lot of similarities to the bag that I wanted to get. And I will finally reveal to you what that bag is. And that is the Chanel reissue 227 in the black with the ruthenium hardware. This is similar and of course in the colors it is black with ruthenium. It has the lovely chain. Of course, it's a different bag, a different style of bag. The reissue is a flap and this is a tote. I know how much I love my bronze tote, so I know that I will love this one. It has the Chanel burgundy interior. It's quite lovely. And another thing it has in common with the reissue is that very aged looking leather with all the wrinkles in it. I just love that. I love how casual it is and 
like cool and rough and tumble and stuff. And there are a few reasons that I didn't get the reissue yet. And the big one, like I said, is that camera. It's just the cost. The reissues that I was looking at, I think brand new, they were five or six thousand dollars. I was not going to pay that much, not paying retail. So I was going to get it pre-loved and they can be pretty expensive there too. I was capping my budget for a reissue at 3,000, but I was looking more in the under 2,500 range, like 2,000 to 2,500. And I did find a few in that range, but I didn't have the money for it, obviously. So I know in the months that I was looking for it, I know that they keep coming available. I know that I can find one in my price range. One of the things that I was having a little trouble with was that I do want one that has very wrinkled leather like this and some of them looked pretty smooth in comparison to something like this and i think for that price point i want to be patient and wait for exactly the right bag and not be too anxious and sort of jump the gun early so i'm hoping to get that reissue sometime next year because i do have other things for the rest of this year with the holidays and all and then the florida trip i had to have money for that and buying different things and helping my mom with some of the meals and things like that. And then I have a conference coming up in November that's going to cost me quite a bit of money. And then of course there's Christmas and Christmas gifts and all the expenses that are involved around Christmas. So it's most realistic to expect a reissue sometime next year. But I am still very happy with this bag. It'll certainly do the job and I'm glad to be able to add it. If I'd gotten the reissue right now, I wouldn't have been able to get this bag. And this one doesn't come up as often as the reissue so it would have been harder to find again. So when I think about it that way, it's actually good that it worked out this way where I had to buy the camera and then I was able to get this and especially at such a great price. And it's in fantastic condition too. It does seem a little more used than my bronze one. They tend to wrinkle right here because there's structure. These are, this is like ribbing. The top of the bag is very soft and so it wrinkles and it looks like that wrinkling is a little deeper. It doesn't bother me at all. It's part of the character of the bag, but it's beautiful. And now that I have unboxed it for you, I can finally start using it, which I've very much been looking forward to. <sighs> well, I knew all the stuff I had, but I didn't realize this video would take quite this long. So it's a good thing I didn't do anything except the haul. Thank you so much for sharing my birthday with me. I really appreciate it. I know several of you were excited to see this video and what I get and what the birthday bag would be. And I really appreciate it. I love having you guys to share all this stuff with. It's so fun to have this community of people all over the world that I get to converse with. And I know I'm not always the best about answering you guys in the comment section. It's only because I have so many other things to do with work and planning more videos and making more videos and editing more videos and getting more videos up. It's very time consuming, but I love it. And you guys are why I love it. So thank you again. I really appreciate your support and your friendship and all of that. And I hope that you have a fantastic day and a wonderful upcoming holiday season. Bye.